Thank you so much, Matt. Well, it is time for the Arts Month kickoff with the 2018 Artini put on by Copper. And here to tell us all about it so you don't miss out is Executive Director Andy Vick. So good morning. Thank good you morning, so much Mia. for being here. Thank you. I think the arts are so important in the community. You know, sometimes they just don't get enough attention. And Copper actually focuses a lot on that. So can you tell us a little bit about what you guys do? Sure, that's exactly what we do. Yeah. Uh, Copper is the acronym for Cultural Office of the Pikes Peak Region. We're a nonprofit that supports arts and culture in the two county uh, El Paso and Teller County uh, community and really we're all about uh, elevating the visibility and engagement in arts and culture across the community absolutely and one of the things that you guys are doing is putting on this arts month to you know just highlight all the different wonderful artists in the community so tell us a little bit about it yeah well obviously we want people to enjoy arts year-round yeah but October is National Arts and Humanities Month and so we've started our own local arts month initiative about five years ago and the whole idea is to create more interest and awareness for arts and culture and also to invite people to come out from behind uh, their TVs yeah. uh, not that we want them yeah. not to watch you they can but, watch us and then get right. out there, right? But, but get out. There's so much wonderful arts and culture in our community, and right. we want people to enjoy that. Okay. So tell us a little bit about Artini. That, and that's a specific event that you guys right. are putting on. So uh, what would be Arts Month without a great start to the whole month? Mm -hmm. And so every year we do a party for the community called the Artini. And if you think about arts and martinis, Martini. right, that's Brought the connection there, right? <laughs> and so uh, the first Friday before October starts every year, we hold the Artini. This year it'll be on Friday, September 28th. Okay. It's from 5.30 to 8.30 p.m., so right after work. This year we'll be in the Mining Exchange Hotel in downtown Colorado Springs and the adjacent Gold Room, and we're taking over all of their uh, meeting and performance spaces, and we're just gonna curate this amazing art event yeah. with music, dance, theater, film. Uh, we have aerialists, body painting, tarot reading. Uh, it's just a great party to showcase local arts and culture and to get people really excited and enthused about Arts Month starting. Yeah, and that is incredible. Some of the things that you were just describing, you know, you've got the typical, you know, art forms that you hear of, but then you've got other things like, what, body painting? Like yeah, that, that's... That is so cool. Right, and it's all local artists, so we're all, we're pulling from the local community. It's a totally free event. Now, you have to be 21 or older. Okay. Because we uh, will be doing martini Artini, tastings, so right? so understandable. So, uh, the, uh, some mixologists from the 360 Grand Club, uh, which is the consortium of hotels downtown and properties uh, the Perry Sanders owns, including the mining exchange. They'll be doing their own concoctions of different martinis. We'll have little samples for folks to taste, uh, and then you can vote for your favorite ones. Uh, and of course, we'll have uh, food trucks, and we'll have food from the mining exchange, So, oh and all their gosh. bars will be open. Uh, so it's cash bar, except for the martini tastings. Just a great time to stop in, have fun, yeah. see some art, and uh, you can come and go as you want for that three-hour period. That is incredible. This sounds like so much fun. So, I mean, these events are so important because, you know, it brings art to light in the community. Why do you think it is so important to do that? So, for me, arts and culture has a number of really important uh, factors for our community. Mm -hmm. One, it's about economic development, right? Uh, $153.3 million dollars in annual economic impact from the nonprofit arts and cultural sector. That's really important. Uh, from a tourism perspective, arts mm -hmm. and culture tourists stay longer and spend more. That's great for our community. Mm -hmm. And of course, we hear all the time how important arts are for education, especially young people. They become, they're better learners, more creative, more innovative. That makes a better workforce. Uh, it's, so it's all about these, uh, a variety of things that really make this um, a rich community to be in. Wonderful. Well, we're actually going to have a performer joining us after the break. They're just yep. going to give us a little taste of what we can expect. But thank you so much for talking with me this morning and telling me all about this incredible event. It sounds like it's going to be a blast. Thank you. It's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, it will. And all of this information and more is available online at peakradar.com slash arts month. And we will have Grant with us in just a little bit to play a little something for us. <laughs> 